And hello, this is David Sacconi from Stay Connected. And today, I wanted to give you an overview of the 2023 Model X. Um, this particular model is the all-wheel drive model with the 22-inch turbine wheels. It is the midnight uh, silver metallic color. Uh, it has all black interior um, with the ebony decor. Um, you also has the, this model actually I have here has got full autopilot. It is the five uh, seat interior, which is really nice with um, the ability to fold down those, those seats to get more room in the back. One of the biggest characteristics of the Model X are the beautiful Falcon wings that make it really, really nice to get in and out of the vehicle. It also is a signature look for Tesla, something that obviously those who are familiar with Back to the Future or um, obviously the DeLorean se uh, series of sports cars. Um, the other piece that I really love is the ability just to be able to walk right under here. Um, I'm six foot two, no problems whatsoever, not hitting my head. Also, those who have children, car seats, you have the latch system here. But the biggest per perk that I think which not many people realize is with these Falcon wings, you have yourself your own, basically umbrella here. So you can load your child in underneath these Falcon wings, stay dry, not get wet. I wish I had this when my children were younger, uh, but it's really, really nice feature. And as you can see from behind, and then when I close these doors, you'll see how beautiful they go down. And you can see that. And then to open it back up, you just press it once and then they fully open. Another great feature is when you get in. I'm six foot two. My seat is set for the same position and look how much room I have. I have plenty of room. Also for those who have kids, um, you have a full screen here to be able to adjust pretty much anything. I know on many of my trips with my children, it was always, Dad, can you make it hotter, make it colder? You know, so um, those who have, you know, obviously it's subscriptions to Netflix, to Disney, to Twitch, Hulu, YouTube, or obviously you can also look at your tutorials. Um, if you have your music uh, su subscription, it would be here. You can adjust your heated seats if I wanted to turn it on or off. You have that ability and then also to turn on and off the air conditioning here. Um, the other piece is, is as I want to, I can just close the Falcon wings just like this. And they close nicely. I have plenty of room. I also have a little mini skylight ahead of me. But you also have this beautiful view in front with the glass windshield, which everyone loves. Um, I have to say it is probably one of the, my favorite features is this glass windshield, which is truly stunning when you're in there. You feel like you're almost in a helicopter cockpit. As I was going over the specs on this vehicle, this has the 22 inch turbine uh, rims. Um, obviously a bigger wheel is going to make some concern. They might be, oh, well, it might be bumpy. What's great about this, you can adjust the height of the ride. And it also has their suspension system in here that ultimately makes this car just a delight to ride. Um, not only that, um, many people have wanted to understand the differences between this and the Model Y. I have the also the Model Y Performance, and I, will ha I have to tell you, um, yes, the Model Y Performance is a much stiffer ride. This runs really nice and smooth. Um, it truly is a really, really nice uh, drive for those who are looking for... A softer ride uh, this is not the plaid model obviously but I, I definitely have to say with these rims and this color this gray is just it's a beautiful combination it, I, I didn't think I'd be that excited about it um, this particular model is specced out at around a hundred and two thousand um, dollars which is you know prices are going back up um, with some of these model X's and and who knows what's gonna happen as inventory gets smaller as Elon moves more towards production of the Cybertruck, which he announced in his earnings that it's going to take some time and that they will see 
a little uh, less amount of cars going out uh, for them in this quarter. As it pertains to trunk space, the biggest amount of trunk space out of any of the Teslas currently right now. Um, that's the Model 3, the Model Y, the Model S, uh, by far. Uh, you have storage ability underneath here. This is almost like a, uh, a, a almost like a, a wood type of um, se uh, separator. Goes right back in. You have another space for storage here. As I take this back up, you have storage down there. You have latchets to be able to latch things down um just overall just a really good amount of space back here the rear seats also go down and i will show you that in a minute um also you can adjust the height of the tailgate so if you are not as tall you can adjust that so you can easily just be able to come here and close the actual back tailgate so for those who want extra space you can easily just pull the front, uh, the, the rear seats down and they, they're very flat. It's great. Uh, you're not going to really have any, any issues with sliding things in and out, catching, um, ton of space back here to be able to do whatever you'd like to do. Or if you have, uh, if you're going on a vacation, you have lots of bags, um, just really, really nice and very simple to just push back in place and you're good to go by opening it. You just pull this lever and then seats go forward one of my other hidden gems that i love about this is as you can see the rear seats decline they decline back for extra comfort during the ride and, and they do decline as you can see quite a bit um they are very very comfortable sitting back here and then obviously when you come back here as i will do it right now and i come back and if i close the falcon wing door which i'm doing right now I have just a nice, comfortable, and I can just lay back and, and take a nap as, you know, the person in the front seat's driving. Just a really, really comfortable drive. As it pertains to the front, once again, Tesla, I think, is making the wrong decision. This is a manual trunk. There is not an automatic trunk open and close, which I would have thought would have made a lot of sense to do on this model at least you have an enormous amount of space in the front um you can put some groceries packages uh suitcases um you can also put some golf clubs in here um and then obviously the way to close it is just like every other tesla just take your hand and push down on it so as we go into the driver's side seat um you don't have the yoke here that is a thousand dollar upgrade definitely not worth it um it has the full wheel here. Again, no t steering, uh, excuse me, um, turn signal other than the traditional buttons, which are on the Model S also. Um, I'm not a big fan of them. I, I do notice, and this is some of the, one of the things I don't like, if you put on the signal a little bit too early, it winds up going off, and then you have to hit it again. Not the biggest deal to engage full self-driving all you have to do is press down on this and it'll engage into full self driving. Um, you also have your controls here for your windshield wiper, your horn, the horn is not here. And then you also have your voice commands over here. Also on the dashboard, you'll notice this beautiful display right here. Um, you have the ability to get all of your full self driving as you're driving, you'll see the road, you'll see other cars there. Um, this screen over here would just continually use your maps and, and ultimately would not be the same way a Model 3 or a Model X is. And I'll, I'll show you that on a video that I'll be adding onto this that'll give you the driver experience of what it looks like. The other thing that you'll notice is, is obviously the beautiful, beautiful windshield. Um, I love this feature on this vehicle to me. As I've said probably twice in this review, it's probably one of the nice, nicest feature. Also, sun visors, really great job. Really nice job. Uh, they're magnetic, right, attaching here. And then this kind of flips out here. And you can see, does its job. It does a good job. And then when you want to just take it out, you just slide it over. And then it just clips right back there through magnets, um, which is really, really nice. 
Other thing is, is the screen. This is a bigger screen than you have on the Model 3 and on the Model Y. You also have this beautiful ability to adjust the screen. So as you can see, the screen is moving. And then if I wanna move it in the other direction, I can do that easily, just pressing that button, you'll see the screen will move. So for those who are not familiar um, with many of the Teslas, uh, that is a big, uh, many owners would like to have that ability on their Model 3, on their Model Y, uh, just because it gives you that, that feeling of that you're in a cockpit, that you really are uh, being able to see everything. Now, I have it at flat right here. Uh, my passenger obviously can see more this way. Now it's, it's open for everyone. So that's another feature. Uh, also, your key, it always gets placed here on this on this one or you can place your phones also to be charged just like your model 3 your model y and your model s um plenty of space in the glove compartment deep deep space in there and then just flipping this through you have another compartment here and then you have this now also you can close it up all the way so it has different catch points as you can see like that and hit it again, and there you go. In the center glove box, you have a ton of room here. Um, also, to open up the glove box, you have to go in here, and glove box. And then you have that ability to go through the glove box. One of the things that I have to say is, is that not sure Tesla has done a great job with the glove box control. Only reason why is it is a pain in the neck. Yes, could I just say open glove box and do that? Yeah, you can do that. You can basically do anything um, with voice commands practically and it'll do it. I would just like to have a button maybe right here for my passenger so that they could easily open up the glove box. So as we look at the display, I'm not gonna go full detail into the actual controls, but something different for the Model X and the Model S are, how do you put it into drive? Very simple, you take your finger and you just slide up and the car now is in drive. Or if you wanna put it in reverse, it's in reverse now. Or if you wanna put it in park, press that. As we look at the controls for the Falcon Wings, I can open up the Falcon Wing by just pressing that one button and it opens up the Falcon Wing. If I want to open up the frunk, the trunk, or if I lock or unlock the passenger's door for a child lock, you can do that also. Or we can just hit close all and then all the doors will close and I'll be ready to drive. Many of the reviews that you're gonna see online don't speak about this and I think it's a big, big miss because Tesla has put a tremendous amount of R&D into it, um, and that is your ride height and your suspension. I can right here click how high the high the the, uh, the ride is going to be. Now, this is going to be raised temporarily. You can see exactly here what's going on, the dampening system in place to take some of that that feel on the road that you're getting. Now, I did feel that the car still is going up higher or I usually like to keep it down here. And then you have all of your suspension inf information right here. You can see, uh, obviously you have the adaptive suspension dampening. That's the whole system that they've put in place. Um, and what I love about this is it adjusts real time, right? So depending on the road and depending where you're driving, you know, during the time, whatever it might be, this suspension is going to adjust appropriately for the driver which I would say is one of the biggest pluses on the X um, between the adaptive suspension dampening, the Falcon wings, the beautiful windshield, the center console here for the dashboard to have the visual display. I love those. Those to me are some of the best features on this vehicle. Um, steering wheel, not a fan. The yoke, definitely not a fan. I would like to still have my turn signals. I know Elon's going forward with the turn signals on the Model 3 refresh in 2024 with that. I don't think I'm a big fan of that. Um, also, the glove box, not a big fan. I've, I've, that's not a knock on the Model X, but in general, those are some of the things that I've seen. 
Um, overall, what we're going to do now is if you are looking for a Model uh, X or a Model Y, it all comes down to your needs. And I don't care what YouTube video you watch, no matter what. Nobody knows what your everyday life is like. Nobody knows what your family likes, uh, excuse me, is like. No one knows what your family needs are. I hope what this video provided to you was an overview of the pros and cons. I'm not biased. I will continue to cover as many electric vehicles I can. I will also be doing some electric bikes. Um, but ultimately, what I really appreciated is your support. And that is clicking the like button, please subscribe, and then share it. It doesn't matter. I just want to spread the word. I'm very passionate about electric vehicles, and I'm just very passionate about being part of this community and sharing some of my experiences. Thank you, and have a great day.